In het adembenemende jaakten wordt een man ten onrechte beschuldigd van seksueel misbruik. Maar ontkennen helpt niet, want niemand wil luisteren. Ja, er is nooit heel veel. Ah, nee, man. Lucas? Hoi. Kijk er lige in het ogenblik. Wat is er voor mij? Wat is er schiet? Ja, dat kan ik zien. Misschien het beste dat je het zegt op een dag, dan kan je het hier op een plaats zijn stil en rolig. Nou, wat hebben we nu gevonden op de lille bandit? Wat is je? Vind je dat wel? Je stoor als een lille dag. Dan wordt het een goeie. Ik ben... Thanks for making my blood boil at times. With what emotion did you make this film? I made this film in a loving and caring feeling. I, I felt, I looked at this little shire of happy people and I considered them all warm and innocent people who didn't know what to do. Uh, the origins is specifically from some cases I've read and researched and then it's become fantasy, it's fiction, it's drama. We've taken it. What did you add to, to the cases? Uh, human life. In cases they try to do, uh, cut away the humanity and just look at the case, of course, uh, as a scientific piece of paper or legal uh, piece of paper. And we're, we're doing the opposite. We took consciously all legal aid or policemen and stuff like that out and looked at the face and, and this. You took everything out except for Lucas, the one who was wrongly accused. I don't think so. There's a, some people and a dog and a, and stuff around him. No, that's true, but we focus on what he, how he is going through this hell. Which sort of yeah, I, in, in some of the cases that, that I read, uh, the typical thing is that more people are being put in prison it's like almost, uh, you know, pedophile rings. Uh, and this one, we, we put all the pressure on our main character. I did this one on the day, yeah. So, if you have that drink, it's good to say. Thank you. No, I'm sorry. We're going to have to talk about this. Spørg dem om det? Ja. Det skal du spørge din datter om. Jeg ved ingenting. Jeg får næsten ikke noget at vide. Men det er helt ude af proportioner nu. Så jeg tænkte dig og mig, vi, vi skal sætte os ned stille og roligt, finde ud af, hvad der er sket, og så bliver vi nødt til at gå op til Greta og, og få styr på det her, inden det går helt amok. Du vil, jeg skal spørge Clara. Hvad? Er det det, du siger? Ja, du skal spørge Clara. Ja, ja, selvfølgelig. Hvad mener du? Lukas. Jeg kalder min lille pige, og hun lyver ikke, og det har hun aldrig nogensinde gjort. Så hvorfor skal hun lyve nu? It's never in doubt that he did not molest the child. Why not? I found it uninteresting to have this doubt. I don't like this kind of thriller uh, manipulation that uh, you don't know who to believe. Or, I like it, but not for this film. I, for this film, I found it interesting to uh, devote to how it was to be the victim. No, I totally agree. And for me, it didn't work like that. But a colleague of mine actually still suspected some wrongdoings, which is... Which is impossible to deal with. I, we did everything we could with the camera angles and to avoid that he looked like a child molester. But, but uh, the audience is trained to be suspicious. And, uh, and that's what we are up against. And that was difficult. Uh, I, I'm going to put it on the poster. When it, <laughs> seriously. Do it. <laughs> no, it's in, it's in the trailer. An innocent man, you know, uh, because I find it, that's not what I want. But also when people saw Feston some years ago, a lot of people, not quite some people, thought he may be lying, uh, this young man. So, you know, it's out of my control.
sige noget til mig? Hvad er du, mand? Vil du sige noget til mig? Hold op, Lukas. Vil du sige noget til mig? Tag det roligt. Kom nu! Hold op, Lukas. Tag det roligt. Hele byen står og hører på dig, mand. Tag det roligt, ikke? Sige det! Tag det roligt, Lukas. Kom mig af, Lukas. Så kom! Hvad vil du sige, mand? Hvad vil du sige? Stop ham! Apart from the script, what did you use to build Lucas? Thomas. Uh, Thomas Winterberg and me were spending a lot of time discussing the quality of this person, uh, the sort of masculinity or lack of, or where, where was he on the scale? Uh, and we decided that he was a civilized person, that we will deal with this matter in a civilized way, but he was also stubborn. He confronted everybody with questions about who said that, why is that? I didn't do it. But he's meeting emotions and not and not rational people. He's meeting, he's facing emotions. Uh, and that's a hard fight. Uh, he's isolated, he finds himself in a Kafka universe all of a sudden, which is, which is for a rational man, absurd. Well, where do you turn to, where, where do you find the enemy? There are no enemies. That, it doesn't even know what he's fighting, you know? Uh, and, and that was also one of the reasons I, I fell in love with the script, because it was, it provoked me so much that I could not find anyone I didn't like. I liked them all. And, uh, and that, was, that was powerful. Og vær så god, fru. Rigtig glædelig jul. Tak i lige måde, Fia. Tak. Dag, jeg skal have to koteletter. Vi har ikke nogen koteletter. Jeg måske lige mener de der svinekoteletter. Du kan ikke få noget her. Jeg har ret til at købe ind her. Du skal gå nu. Smut med dig. Jeg vil gerne have to koldletter. Ja, så er det ude. Kom. Et sted med dig. Du skal ikke uh, komme her. Jeg må ikke slå. Du skal ikke være her mere. You're a very famous actor, so people write about you all the time. Have you ever been confronted with malicious lies? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, in a, it's slightly different than from what we're dealing with in this film because that's a snowball kind of effect. Uh, if you get a malicious lie in the media, it's a giant snowball right away, <laughs> and, and it's like there are no rumors. It's just facts, you know. Which uh, one was that? Oh, or the, or the worst one? I can't remember. It's uh, there's so many. So <laughs> but that means that you simply forget them and yeah, try move to forget on. them. It's not always you can. I mean, uh, but but uh, luckily it's in those kind of medias where people tend to know that it's uh, let's let's take off 99 percent. But I mean, it's part of the game. It it, it uh, nobody likes it. Everybody hates it, but uh, hey, what can you do?